All right, greetings from S4. We're here with William Not of uh, Clarity. Welcome, uh, William. I'm glad to be here with you, Lucian. How so, are you? Great. Uh, talk about the new announcement, $100 million for uh, investment in Clarity. Uh, what does that mean for the ICS uh, community, first off, and, and, and what are you going to invest them in? Sure. So, like you said, uh, today we announced we've raised an additional $100 million in venture in financing in our company in an up round, which is just really great news. It means our company is worth more than the last time we raised money. And so it's really good for retention and for a whole, for our company, it's great news. How does it affect the ICS community? We are going to be expanding into new markets, into new areas of critical infrastructure. So it enables us to recruit more talent, um, both in terms of the products that we develop in our engineering team, in our customer success team, and in our go-to-market, right? In, in which regions we're in and in which sectors we're in. So we're just thrilled to share that news. And Th Thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, certainly IoT World would be happy to support you in that effort and uh, uh, spread a word. So now let's talk about, about the clarity and, and how easily uh, can your cybersecurity products be integrated in an existing ICS infrastructure, considering the variety of legacy system in use today? Sure. So from the very beginning our company was launched, we were all about uh, in integrating with existing legacy technologies. And that includes both the automation and control vendors, uh, you know, the, 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 the Schneider, the Rockwells, uh, Honeywell, ABB, etc. We understand the protocols these companies use in their critical infrastructure, in the communications between the PLC and between the HMI. We speak the language that these devices speak. So, you know, and we designed our system to integrate seamlessly into these environments. In addition, we've also got integrations with folks like CrowdStrike and ServiceNow and, um, and many others, Splunk, the list goes on, AWS, um, Cisco, Fortinet. So not only do we integrate very well and seamlessly in the OT environment, but also we help organizations leverage their existing investments in IT and really make it possible to enable secure digital transformation in a converged IT OT world. Got it. And so that makes sense from the diverse type of investors you've had, because this is a unique company that has potentially multiple uh, competitors invested in Clarity. So Indeed. It, it, and, and that explains uh, uh, wh why that is. But um, maybe talk a little bit about um, the um, um, how does your solution perform in terms of the asset discovery and management? Great. So we believe asset discovery is like the foundation for risk reduction. So you, you, you know, the ultimate goal is helping people understand their, their risk level and reducing their risk level. It starts with visibility. It's step zero. So we have what we think is the best discovery capability. Uh, it works across five different technologies. So the sort of traditional one that we and many others have is passive discovery, where we use a span port or a tap to just listen to the traffic and infer what's going on in the network around us. We do that very well. We have hundreds of protocols that we understand. The second one, a little bit more interesting, we call safe active, where we actually talk to the PLCs directly, we talk to the HMIs directly in the language that they use, right? So like we'll talk to a Rockwell device using Rockwell's protocol. We'll talk to an ABB device or a Honeywell device using their protocols. And in this way, we're able to get more information. What firmware is on that device? What control codes on that device? And we can provide uh, much more accurate information around level of vulnerabilities or risks associated with that device because we get much more information than you would just get with passive alone. We also can ingest the project files. So if you have an engineering workstation, we can, we can read those project files. It gives us a tremendous amount of information. Also for devices that are harder to reach in the network. We have a technology called Clarity Edge where you can see all the information in the subnet using heuristics, use that safe active query capability and get even more information from devices that are further down in the network. And the last one to share is with integrations, we get additional information. So we can enrich the whole system with what we see from someone like Exonius or CrowdStrike or Fortinet and we get even more information. So we have like five different discovery capabilities that we can leverage. Um, and we're, we're going even further with this, enabling visibility into visibility which is to say, I think we're the first in the industry to do this. We're not just showing what we see, but we're showing how well do we see, right? So it's sort of like a meta idea of visibility. 
and we're able to orchestrate visibility to say, you know, you're using these techniques now, your visibility would be so much better if you also did X, Y, and Z and click this button and it happens. So it's, yeah. this is a huge yeah. area of investment and, for us. And, and like and I said, it's the foundation for the whole risk reduction program. And, and being an S4, I'll be remiss or not asking the question, the Dale Peterson question. What's your favorite metrics for <laughs> asset discovery? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a great question. I think um, how good is your visibility is a great question. And can you report out on what you see at what level, right? So we can differentiate between we see there's a device there to we know everything about that device, right? And I don't know if there's a name for this metric yet, but it's just a capability that very few people have. And I think it's an important one so that you're doing more than just checking a box. What we really want to do in this community is we want to increase the security posture across all of critical infrastructure, right? Just because you could, like with, with this whole visibility discussion, the question is visibility for what? So what, right? Unless you're actually showing risk reduction, you're not really showing value. And so probably a, measure, a metric around risk, but also a metric around like how good is it, right? Got it. Yeah. Thank you um, uh, for that, William. And uh, if you're in the audience have questions, feel free to leverage the hashtag you see on the screen. And hopefully you have William at one of the IoT World Days uh, speak again and answer your Happy questions directly. Happy to do that, Lucian. <laughs> right. Thank you.